Today is Indigenous Peoples Day, which has replaced uh, Columbus Day, and it's a, a day of reclamation where we're recovering our own story and being able to tell it with our own voices. I hope that that's the most important aspect of what the children and youth and students um, are taking out of today is that we can and we all belong together. When we understand our cultures, when we uh, come together around culture, around history, around an accurate reading of our stories, uh, it helps us all to understand all the different stories that we all come from and all the different traditions that we all celebrate. Today is just to celebrate just uh, not just indigenous people in the Americas, but indigenous people all over the world, because um, everyone's in, in, indigenous from somewhere. So we really want to uh, recognize that. So it's just not a Native American day, but it's also just a day just to uh, celebrate those uh, indigenous brothers and sisters of, of ours all over. I am the Grand Marshal for our Indigenous Peoples Day Parade as I'm the first ever Native American Miss Minnesota. My name is Rachel Evangelisto and I'm an enrolled member of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. It was really heartwarming for me to drive up with my auntie today to see so many women, children, men in ribbon skirts and ribbon shirts when just 20 years ago that was outlawed and banned. So to see that Indigenous children are thriving today, Indigenous women and men are thriving and can be honest and proud and share that Indigenous joy through Indigenous People's Day, um, I think is really an honor for me and to be the Grand Marshal of all of that is truly, uh, brings me so much joy. Hello! Hello. We build community by educating and learning about each other's culture. And so this is an important day to do that, to practice how we learn about each other's culture. I think it's as equally important for non-Native students to be a part of that same message about how can we live together and be in community. We can all be together in a respectful way. Lots of cultures have that as a core value. And so we want to make sure that, that we're instilling, instilling and practicing that core value of being respectful and being good relatives to each other.